What's going on, everybody? I know it's been a few days since I made an upload. Um, I was actually stuck in the house for the past week. So, I know in my last video, or the, I think it was the CarMax video, I said, you know, hey, I'm putting uh, servos in my truck. And I was pretty excited about that. Um, but what I forgot to do was lower my shift pressure in my transmission before I installed the servos. So my shift pressure was pretty high. I installed servos, was really bumped up the shift pressure and was just too much for the, for the truck to handle. So I blew up my transmission. That wasn't fun at all. Um, yeah, so I spent that day going around to different shops, getting quotes on different things, trying to figure out, you know, what shops thought it could be and ended up going to Amco. Um, I definitely overpaid for my rebuild, but I'm pretty happy with it. Today we'll get to check out the rebuild, uh, tell you guys more about it. Um, but right now what we're about to do is we're about to go down to the truck and we're about to retune it for this new build. So I'm pretty stoked about that. And then we're gonna see what kind of trouble we can get into. So I'm about to load up this tune. I already built it last night. Um, I built it pretty conservative just while I break in the transmission. Cause I don't, you know, I don't need my new transmission blowing up on me. So we'll go ahead, upload this tune. I wouldn't show you guys what the tune was on it anyways. <laughs> I don't need other people in Colorado to try to steal it. So we'll upload this tune. And while we're writing it, I'll go ahead and talk to you about the new transmission. So we're uploading it right now. It's so quick to upload this truck too. It takes like no time at all. But so I got it rebuilt. It has, let's see, Alto red clutches in it. Um, it's got a Teflon band in it. They upgraded the accumulators. For some reason, GM likes to throw plastic accumulators in there. So they went ahead and put uh, aluminum ones in there. Um, they tightened up some, uh, some things in it. They put stiffer springs in, in some of the areas for me. So she, sh she shifts. I stuttered right there. She shifts amazingly now. I've never felt a transmission shift so smooth but when you get on it, it just goes right in the gear. It just slams in the gear. No lag time, nothing. Um, oh, look, we're already done uploading. So we'll talk more about the transmission later. It's time to go for a little test drive, see how this goes. I actually have to go back to Amco. So when I left there, I should have did a walk around around the vehicle, uh, you know, make sure there's no damage done to the vehicle. Um, I went straight from Amco to my house. And once I got home, I parked the truck. And when you're walking away, you know, car guys, we always look back at our vehicles, you know, oh my God, I love you, bae. Um, but I look back and there was a dent in my truck. Uh, so I need to go back there and see if they got cameras so I can see when it was dented and hopefully catch the license plate of the person that dented it. And I don't like dents in my vehicles and I'm definitely not paying to get it fixed. You know, I want the person that hit the vehicle to pay for it to get it fixed. You know, have their insurance pay for it and maybe get in charge with a hit and run. I don't know. So... We'll see about that. I probably won't record any of that. But we might go see Jason with this guy's decals today. I'm not sure. We might stop by my buddy's vape shop. I don't know yet. I'll have to text him and see if maybe he brought that Honda I was telling you guys about there. So we'll see what kind of trouble we can get into, test out this new tune. I'm bringing my laptop with me. So that way while I'm on the road, if I need to make any changes, I can do that. And I'll show you guys, maybe give you a little tutorial too on how to make some changes in HP tuners. So we'll see all about it. And we're going to go have some fun today. So I just left Amco. Unfortunately, they don't have cameras, so I can't do that. I'm just gonna have to call insurance. And, uh, yeah, file an insurance. And, you know, the dent's really not even that noticeable. I notice it. I'm sure at a show or something, other people will notice it, maybe. But, you know, you just never know. It's kind of upsetting, you know, nobody really cares about other people's property anymore, so. Oh shit, we got a cop in front of me. What is up, Newport News Police? So, I'm definitely going to have to adjust this tune. Uh, it is probably just a little too much. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it a little more conservative. Um, we'll go with that and see how she drives then. Because, you know, they did upgrade everything inside the transmission. It's completely new, completely rebuilt. So, we're going to go lower the tune down just a tad and then I'm actually on my way to the gas station right now I think the last batch of gas I got was a bad batch because I had 
had some knock retard when I was doing some data logging. And normally with the tune, the engine tune that I have on there, you know, I don't get any knock retard. So I'm pretty sure I got a bad batch of gas, but so I ran this fuel tank dry. I'm about to go get some new gas from the main gas station I go to. You know, I had to get gas at a different gas station last time. And I don't like doing that. So we'll get some gas in this. I did notice I need to fix my exhaust. It's rubbing on my low, uh, my low profile transmission cross member. And you can hear it. And to anybody else, it sounds terrible. I mean, to me, I know exactly what it is. But other people are probably looking at the truck like, what the hell is it? Why is it making that noise? So, but I think uh, we're going to head to Jason's at this guy's decals. Go hang out with him for a little bit. I still got to text my buddy and see if he brought the Honda to the shop. Yeah, we'll go see if maybe he did that. So we'll go have some fun today. I know I've said that a few times in this video, but I'm still trying to debate on what I want to do today. You know, that transmission, uh, you can't do too much. Transmission costs me a lot of money. I'm definitely glad I have a good savings account because it cost me about 24, 2500 bucks for the, for the performance rebuild, which uh, might not be bad. You know, but it's a pretty common transmission. You know, it's a 4L60E, so it's a pretty common transmission, but I'm happy with it. But I definitely got to adjust this tune again. Bring it down just a little bit. It's only, I think I only got to bring first gear down. So we'll bring first down. Uh, yeah. So, just filled up with gas. Talked to my buddy. He didn't bring the Honda to work today, but I think we'll still go kick it with him for a little bit. Um, but I was at the gas station. And before, uh, I mean, I'm still here. The guy already left. But before I even like got out the got out the car, you know, I just pulled up and I was sending my buddy a message. Some dude comes up to my window and knocks on it. He's like, "Hey, man, I need gas. Can you give me a, Can you give me a gallon of gas?" And I look over at his car, man. He's got like three hoodlums in there just staring me down like hardcore. I'm like, "Man, get the fuck away from me! I ain't giving you no gas." Like, I could tell. Like, if somebody, like, really needs some gas or something. But, you know, these dudes, he, he didn't even want gas. He just wanted the money. And I was like, man, you know, you're at a gas station. If I give you gas, that would make more sense. But you just want money? Like, come on now. And you got three hoodlums over there staring me down? Like, come on. Thank God I go strapped everywhere I go. Because the uh, area I live in in Virginia is... It's a bad area. So, yeah. We're going to go to my buddy's vape shop. Go kick it with him. He's got to lift the truck, so we'll check that out. I mean, this truck's pretty cool, uh, but it's definitely not the Honda. Um, I can't believe I'm saying that. I hate Hondas, but his is so cool. So we'll go kick it there. I'll show you guys the vape shop. Um, and then maybe later on, you know, the day's pretty big. I can't chill at a vape shop forever. Maybe we'll go kick it with Jason at this guy's decals. Or maybe go go kick it with another buddy. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. Oh shit, I wasn't even recording. So, I'm at the buddy's place. Got my new Takata backpack on. It's actually not new, I've had it for a while. I don't know why I said new. But we got the FedEx truck there, delivering a package to him for a shot. There's his truck right there. Got a lifted F-150, it's pretty cool. I'm not a big fan of Fords. As you guys know, I'm a Chevy guy, but his truck's pretty nice. His tires are wide as hell too. I think they're 12 and a half wides. So that's pretty cool. So, we're about to go into his shop here. Go kick it with him. My laptop's in my backpack, so that way I can work on my tune while I'm here. I really gotta work on that transmission tune. But here we go. Oh shit, and there's the homie. Badass vape shop. Oh, what up? So now it's nighttime. About to make the drive over to Mexico. Honestly, we don't even know if there's gonna be anyone running. We were trying to lock in races because people were talking about it, but then nobody wanted to lock in any races. But apparently a few people are going to Mexico. So we're gonna go ahead and head over there. See if anybody actually wants to run. And uh yup, you guys finally get to see the Honda I've been talking about all this time. My boy's Honda. 
So he used to have a GTR and nobody wanted to run him because he was, it was pretty, pretty heavily modified and everyone was like, I don't want to run it because he kept whooping everyone's butt. So he was like, fuck it, I'm going to buy a built Honda and troll on everybody. So that's what he did. So like I said in an earlier video, I hate Hondas, but this one's pretty cool. So we finally get to see that one tonight. Pretty stoked about that. And uh, yeah, let's go to Mexico. So we met up with the homie and his Honda. I'd show you guys, but his plate's exposed and we're in Mexico. We met up at a uh, Mexican strip club because we got lost. Uh, but we're headed out right now. We gotta go a uh, town. Yeah, it's one town over and they're meeting up uh, at a certain spot. I think I know this spot. I think I've been there before. Um, if I did, it's real fast races. It's like, uh, you know, get to the spot, run, 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 run. There's no time for prep, nothing like that. Uh, but that's if that's the spot that I'm thinking of. If it's not, and we actually have time to prep and everything, I should get some pretty cool video. If not, it's gonna be some real fast paced video. Uh, so we'll just have to wait and see until that time. But either way, we'll, we'll capture some cool stuff and uh, check, out, check out the homies Honda. There's only three people that know how much horsepower this thing makes. Uh, the driver, so the owner, um, his friend, and me. And he doesn't want me to disclose how much power it makes. But what I can say is it makes a shit ton more power than my truck. Uh, and you would, By looking at this Honda, you would not expect it to do that. So, light's about to turn green. We're about to go. I want to put the phone down. There's a couple cops out in this area. That's why we're going to town over. Um, but yeah, keep you guys informed. So we got on the interstate and he decided to do a pull on me. Holy shit, did that thing pull away from me like crazy while flames were shooting out of its tailpipe. It's probably one of the most badass Hondas I've seen. I cannot wait to see this thing in action. Yo, so we're out here at the, uh, the Mexican Walmart. We got Bay right there. You guys ready to see the Honda? Here it is, the ultimate sleeper. We're putting the slicks on it right now. So right now, we got two vets, a Camaro, a Mercedes, an S2K, a BMW, a G8, an Evo, my truck, and the boys' Honda. That'll be a good night in Mexico tonight. Working on the Honda. Another sneak peek. Can't wait to see it run. So we're getting ready to head out to the spot right now. Pretty stoked. I'm sorry that a lot of my videos are like inside my truck. It's just, you know, I don't want to get these guys license plates and stuff in the video. Uh, but when they're when they're running and stuff, uh, I'll be able to blur. I'll be able to blur it out um, if I see anything in there. Uh, but also, they'll be going so fast that the camera won't even be able to pick up their license plate. Um, I just don't want to really record their cars too much while they're they're sitting still. You know, Mexican police are a bitch. So we're about to head out to the spot right now. I'm pretty stoked. It's going to be a cool time. I love the smell of my buddy's car. It's not E85. Oh my God, E85 smells so good. It's awesome. So we're about to head out there and uh, go see some racing. Hey, so who we got running right now? The G8 and... Okay. So we got G8 and a Corvette running right now. G8's pretty nasty. You can see him driving down there. So we're at the finish line, so we'll go ahead and we'll catch everybody as they're finishing. <laughs> so they're going to go all the way down there, turn around, and then hit it down here. Damn. And he let off. But that's the winner of this one. I guess the G8 spun. So the vet and the G8 are about to rerun. Uh, G8 spun, want to do a rerun. So the vet, that said, yeah, they'll go ahead and do it. So since they're doing roll races, they're going to go a little further back this time since they were too close. And uh, hopefully the G8 doesn't spin out. Here they go, round two. Damn. So 
So the vet won that one again. 2K. And whoever's running him. So I was thinking about going to run the uh, S S2000 tonight, but I found out he's making like five, 600 horsepower, and the truck's not up to that right now. So not a, not, not until I get the nitrous on it. Uh, so I was pretty bummed out about that. Is he's some pretty quick cars that are racing tonight. But this race right here seems pretty cool. Let's hope the Chevy wins. I don't want the Honda to win. And uh, yeah. So that's 2000 and the Camaro going for round two. Shit, street racers say he missed the gear. But apparently they're not going for round two. So I don't know. Maybe they're cooling down. The uh, S2000. Oh, there's shit, there's a car coming. Just a rando car. There's a uh, helicopter in the air, but it's all the way down there. We can see it, but it's not it's not over us. So we're still good on that. But I think uh, since the S2K kind of slammed on his brakes and they they overheated pretty bad, I think he's letting them letting them cool down before they do another run. So every time a car goes by, these guys pop the hood. Yeah. Like shit, I'm low on coolant. <laughs> If any cops ask, my car broke down, we were on a cruise, just pour water all over it and get your babes over here. Get your babes over here. Fucking A. Fucking A. Fucking A. Let's try not to get too close so we don't get their, uh, their license plates in the mix. So we're we're getting we're getting picked up because we came all the way out in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> and uh, we were too far away to really tell who won. So we'll see we'll see when they pull up. Hey, who won? Ah, uh, uh, did he? Yeah. Ah, man. Oh, that was you that spun? I thought that was I thought that was him that spun. I wonder if he wants to try it again. Or oh, another run? I'm sure he'll do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, he wants to run it back. Oh, okay. I told you a rush, son. <laughs> hey, that was that was badass. hurting pretty bad right now. I ain't never driving again. Which is real upsetting. This is going to be a legend. I can't lose that. Like, never come out again. Maybe it's too hot. What happened? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. 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 That shit. I think I did. Because I tried to jump start it. Put it back in gear. It was me, but I think I was a ball. It was no leaks. It was no fluid. Yeah, yeah. It was all bad. Edward, I want to erase that. She was Oh, Jasper Savendi. Oh. Jasper. Oh. Savendi. oh. He's pretty quick. Yeah, that's the answer. He's a flexible girl. I'd give it a minute, let it chill. I kept hearing about him. Yeah, he's actually quick. I mean, he still got gapped up by the camera. Yeah, I mean, he did hot lap it. Oh, I did. You know how that goes. Yeah. Camera. 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 Camera.
bolt off. Hey, had it come out of the hole? Two turbos bolted off. Hey, that was probably like a 199999 Did you just run it? Yep. Yeah, they're they running. Yeah. Try it now. Is this, was this nipple cover? Yeah, uh, no. That's not you. I think that's... Oh, because I have one before mine. This shit was at the funky room. Yeah, the one where you bought some. It's stuck. There's a plug over here that's not on that thing. <laughs> but I think it's old. I think it's the OBD1 fuel injector. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, no. yeah. Oh, shit. I ate them on that one. Yeah, these are old. Oh, OBD1 yeah. clips. Dude, is that your Nomura? Yeah. 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 And I'll buy this off you right now for like 2k. Yeah, actually, huh? I'll buy it right now for 2k. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta you got find the motor. <laughs> Part of it? <laughs> hey, you didn't see like a lot of smoke. Hey, you think, like, nah, dude. Right? Nope. No, I didn't, no. The road was clean except for your rubber. Which you were spinning fucking all the way. Maybe I just over boosted it. Yeah. And hit like fuel cut. Yeah, Some type this, of safety. There's definitely nothing. Well, maybe I should just reset the ECU. I mean, you could. Let it cool yeah. down, reset it. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't have any tools. What do you need? Yeah. Uh, 10 millimeter. Mm. Guess, uh, I got a Gerber. You pick, you gotta have the one fucking tool that gets lost in your pocket. <laughs> in the whole, in the whole toolkit. <laughs> you can put 10 of them, 10, 10, 10 mils in your pocket and lose them all. <laughs> Rolling. You said it's the C C five. C five and the AMG. Uh -huh. Alright guys, I just missed the last race, which was actually really good. It was CTSV versus the AMG. And it was so close at the end, but I think the V got it. But I missed it because I got to help my buddy work in the Honda. Uh, yeah, the Honda died. Apparently, when he shifted out of second into third, it died. And that's why he, you know, lost the race in that video and got walked. But it's because the car died. He tried to pop start it while he was going. It wouldn't pop start. So we uh, disconnected the battery, tried to restart the ECU, just reconnected it, and the car won't start. So we think it's an electrical issue of what it is. But... The Honda's down. Come on, focus in, phone. There we go. Ah. Uh, what happened? What happened? What happened? Don't tell me two cars are down tonight. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, no, he's still running. Apparently his throttle body's all messed up, so he might be done for the night. That helicopter's gone.
He got low end and top end. Nah, how much air going in, man? Uh, you got both. You just fuck everybody. He's got high speed. Yeah. He, has, he does have a 400 shot there, so. He's got that. Yeah. He's got a throw the water out. There's a healer you can see yeah, a little bit back. It's stock with 400 and a Camden tune. Barefoot Brandon. I said it's stuck. You're stuck with it. I like it. I'll take it. Now we stuck because that. Dildo shaped missile from Austin Powers. <laughs> we all gone. <laughs> oh shit, we are missing the run. <laughs> On this episode of Mexican Street Racing, we got the AMG. And we got G8. So I'm pretty sure the AMG is gonna fucking stomp that ass. Which is bad because I love GM vehicles. Yeah. Yo, these guys are taking forever to run. Oh man, what happened? What happened? I guess it keeps, Check that wire, baby. keeps Check spinning that wire. tire. <laughs> hey, who got a headlight? Who got a headlight? Everybody got a There's a shit truck all the way back there. He's got a truck and a trailer too, it's just that he doesn't have a winch on that trailer. And... Yeah, that's a, uh, we could have all pulled it. Hey, we can push that bitch up. Uh, yeah, but he lives all the way in Portsmouth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Didn't he? He had that. I keep asking. He had that DTR, right? Mm hmm. Still catch that motherfucker. Yeah. That's probably just too easy, though. He had, no one could beat him. He made like 14, right? Something like that. Yeah, that thing was quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, I, I didn't have a road in passenger. I don't ever read passenger. His shit, my phone goes. I almost busted me in the face when he took off. That hit, uh, the yeah, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't ready. I said, <laughs> I should have acted like I was. I think that was about three or four cars before in front of me. Mm, it wasn't as bad the first time. So we're, we're, we're stuck here in Mexico because 
because the Honda fucking died. <laughs> So typical too. I was about to say that. It's so fucking typical. How come the Honda has to die? You know, every time. Out of all the cars out here, the Honda dies. At least you weren't the only one to like, well, that's bad to say, but I have a problem. <laughs> so, yeah, we're stuck out here. I'm not leaving them. We're waiting for the tow truck to get here. <laughs> the, the fucking, Honda, the fucking Honda died. The Honda always breaks down. Every, every, every time there's like street racing, right? First car to break down is the Honda. Uh, every video I have, there's a Honda breaking down in it. <laughs> or wrecking, right? <laughs> yeah, or wrecking. <laughs> Let's move this jack. Another Honda down. Another Honda down. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna make that my thumbnail. I'm gonna take a picture. Well, the Honda's getting towed. Poor Honda. <laughs> the poor Honda. <laughs> it's a sad day for the Honda. Well, that'll do it for this video. Make sure you leave a like and a subscribe. Uh, seems like every race video we film, there's a Honda that breaks down. So make sure you subscribe so that way we can keep breaking Hondas in all of our videos.